Hey guys, Nick Holden here, aka DVD Collector 96, and welcome to a new video of my YouTube channel. Okay guys, so I've been planning a lot to create way more my complete collection videos because I know you guys love that. They are a little bit of a pain to do because basically you need to assemble collections together and take it out of the shelves, but uh, I'm Today I'm organizing my Disney complete collection and I'm planning I'm planning to organize them starting by all the Pixar film which I already filmed a video about it and then I'm organizing Disney. So I decided to do three different my complete collections videos. The first one being my complete Pixar collection on 2023. Now this one it's I'm super excited about it and the third one and last will be my complete Disney movie club exclusives. But this one will be my complete Disney live action collection. Let's talk a little bit about live actions. Please let's discuss in the comments. Let me know what do you think about live actions, if you enjoy them, which one is your favorite. I'm kind to give you my feedback about uh, the live actions. I will let you know which ones I have seen and which one I'm missing to see. At the time I'm recording this video, the next live action of Disney will be Snow White period because it's not going to be called Snow White and the Seven Dwarf. I kind of have mixed feeling about that one but uh, I did saw a promo picture it's been delayed to 2025 so I'm pretty much excited to see it. I always like to give opportunities to movies if I go to the movie theaters and I'm, and I'm not enjoying it I'm like eh, well I didn't enjoy it that could happen to any movie not, with, not only with a live action and if I don't like the live action we're still going to be having the um, Disney regular releases. So let's go through the pile, shall we? So I organized these in order they were released. So the first, well, it's in the order it's been released, and these are the physical medias, physical media copies that you can get on Blu-ray or 4K. Because the Honor World Dimensions have a live action that it's on DVD available, but I haven't got it. I'm still hoping they release it on Blu-ray. It's one of my favorite live actions of all time. I grew up watching it, and it has two movies with Glenn Close as Cruella. I did enjoy Cruella, the new live action, a lot, but I want those to be released. So this is in the order that I have them. I'm think I'm not missing anyone. Maybe it's an original Jungle Book, but I'm pretty sure this is uh, pretty much it. But from the new era of live action, the first one is Alice in Wonderland. I got the Blu-ray plus DVD with a slip cover. This one I watched it recently and out of 10 I give it an 8. I basically did an Alice in Wonderland movie night. I watched the animated version and then I watched uh, the first one and the sequel. I did like this one but it's not one of my favorites but I still had a good time watching it. Next we have Maleficent 4K Steelbook Best Buy exclusive. This one 10 out of 10. I love my lesson time. I saw it when I was still living in Cuba and I had a great time watching it and I love the plot twist that they did to the Sleeping Beauty edition. Sorry, uh, version. Next we have one that I haven't seen and it's Cinderella 4K Best Buy exclusive steelbook. And I haven't seen it. I want to see it. Uh, the scene is like with Disney movies. I'm trying to see the animated versions first and then I jump to the um, live actions. And funny story, I was watching that once upon a time uh, in a studio and they show Cinderella with like this kind of gray dress and I saw this YouTuber's video saying that um, now that the movie has been re-released on 4K, that was the original color of the dress. It was just so bad uh, transferred to Blu-ray and DVD and VHS that we only have seen in blue. But funny enough, on the live action, the dress is blue. So kind of a little bit of a story. If you have seen it, let me know what do you think about the Cinderella live action. Next we have the Jungle Book, a uh, Best Buy 4K exclusive seal book. This one is all, one of the other ones that I haven't seen. I've never been a big uh, The Jungle Book fan, but I did remember singing a lot of the songs because I have like this CD when I was growing up. So this one, I'm excited to see it. I know Scarlett Johansson is the serpent if I know me again, but I haven't seen it just yet. Next, we have Alice Through the Looking Glass, the sequel to Alice in Wonderland. 
And if I'm not mistaken, this is the only movie without counting the Hunter and Wild Animations that have had a sequel so far. No, my left isn't had a sequel as well. This one I enjoyed, but it's not as good as the first one, so I'm guessing that's why they didn't decide to go with a third one. But with Disney, you never know, we might get a third one in the future. Next, we have a Sleeping Beauty 4K Best Buy Exclusive Steelbook. 10 out of 10. I love the adaptation of this movie. I went to the movie theater to watch it with a friend and I had a great time watching it. I think Emma Watson did an amazing job portraying this beautiful character. So, 10 out of 10. I enjoy it a lot. Next, we have another one that I haven't seen. I have the Blu ray Plus DVD Sleepcover Edition of Christopher Robin. So, Winnie the Pooh has so many movies, and I'm pretty sure even growing up, I didn't see all of them. So, um, I want to watch like all of them, there are, there are like six different ones, and then I want to see Christopher Robin. But I have seen reviews that this movie was pretty good, but again, I haven't watched it, so I cannot tell you what do I think about this one specifically. Next, we have my favorite Disney character, and it's Dumbo. So, live action Dumbo, I went at almost midnight with a friend to watch it. I have to be honest, I cry a lot watching this movie, but still, the way they put this elephant right here, something about the live action edition that I just love on it. Uh, that Christmas year, my best friend gave me a Dumbo uh, to sleep, and I just love Dumbo. But funny story, 10 out of 10 for the live action, but I do not have a lot of memories of watching Dumbo being a little kid. I didn't know that I watched it and I liked it, but I didn't have a lot of memories. So this one was the era that Best Buy, I'm sorry, Target was doing this exclusive, like kind of digibooks with a book inside. So this is a Target exclusive 4K edition of uh, Dumbo. Okay, sorry. My pile just fell off. I'm putting the pile here because I've seen a lot of YouTubers that they do the pile like off camera, but I just like guide you guys to watch like kind of a general idea of how the piles look of us going to the movies. Now, another live action that I went to the movie theater to watch, this was Aladdin's uh, Best Buy exclusive 4K, and one of the first uh, Disney movies that I ever added to my collection. I love the uh, live action of Aladdin, 10 out of 10. I thought they were going to do a sequel, they did not, but still, I had a great time watching it. I love this live action, and it was the first time that I actually went to the Cine Bistro to watch it, so 10 out of 10. Next we have The Lion King. So The Lion King uh, Best Buy Exclusive 4K Steelbook. That was the first movie that I actually ever went to the movie theater twice to see it because uh, the first time I went with friends and second time I went on a day with this uh, person that he haven't seen the movie. So I went to the movie theaters uh, just to take him to watch The Lion King. The Lion King has never been my favorite movie, but out of 10, I want to give it a name. Life action wise, it was kind of the same of the original. It's just like since I wasn't a big fan of the Lion King, I just didn't enjoy it a lot. Next, we have the sequel to Maleficent, and it's Maleficent Mistress of Evil. I went to the movie theaters to watch it, I went to watch this one alone. I did like it, but out of 10, it's not as good as the original. I want to say I give it a 7. <coughs> Sorry. This is a 4K Best Buy exclusive seal book. And again, I enjoy it, but it wasn't as good as the first one. Next, we have a one that I haven't seen just yet. This was during COVID time, and it was Mulan. I did so that they took the Red Dragon out movie. If I, I don't remember the name right now. I do remember liking Mulan a lot, but this one they told me they switched the story a lot, and it's not a great live action movie. And I haven't seen it, maybe that's why I'm not even interested in seeing it uh, for now. Next, we have one that I did enjoy a lot, and it's Cruella. Cruella, I give it a 10 out of 10. I think she did an amazing job drawing Cruella, and it's a different plot twist on the story, so I had a great time watching it, and I enjoyed it a lot. 10 out of 10. And I can't believe this movie is the one after Cruella. Do you see those four titles right there? And I'm sick I'm missing one. Wait, did, am I missing one? There were five. Oh no, it's on the other part. I know what I'm missing. My favorite live action movie. I know a lot of people hated it. 
I enjoy it a lot. You guys have every single unboxing video on the channel. You guys have vlogs on the channel about it, special featured video about it, and I had a great time watching it. And I have this nice life action of The Little Mermaid. For me, this is a 10 out of 10. I'm sorry if somebody hated it. I just enjoyed the movie so much to say that I hated it. This is the 4K Best Buy exclusive seal book. I also got the Blu-ray plus DVD plus digital beautiful slip cover edition. I got a uh, Disney's live action The Little Mermaid, this beautiful uh, Walmart 4K exclusive, uh, 4K with a slip cover. And then I got, and this is how much I enjoy the movie, I got the DVD version of the movie. And am I missing one copy of the movie? Yes, I am. And I'm missing the 4K Disney Movie Club exclusive, which is the next video that I'm going to be recording because it's going to be my complete Disney Movie Club exclusive collection. So that's why I could keep it out of this specific collection. But basically, for now, that will be all for today's video. Like I always say, I hope you guys are enjoying with this new kind of content in the channel. If you are, please. Let me know in the comments, leave me a like, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel so we can keep this channel growing, and see you guys again soon on a new video.